Right, Jeff. So I won't waste any time. Uh, you can see the uh, the, uh, green, the black parachutes in the horizon are just landing now. What we're what you're looking at is northern Gaza. Now this is an area that uh, much of the humanitarian aid has not been able to make its way, and this is also the area of the Gaza Strip that perhaps needed the most. And so right now we just got an, uh, an example of one of the latest airdrops uh, of humanitarian aid into northern Gaza in an attempt to overcome this bottleneck that is uh, set on the ground also uh, due to Hamas pretty much taking over, commandeering uh, the aid that comes into Gaza, taking it for themselves, but also the fact that on the ground it is virtually impossible for aid to make its way into Gaza Strip from the northern part of the Gaza Strip, mainly given the fact that Hamas terrorists destroyed uh, the Erez crossing, that's the main ground land border crossing connecting Israel and the Gaza Strip. So as we can see, the airdrops are continuing. This latest one just seconds ago falling in uh, northern Gaza. Uh, Ariel, the, the impact of these airdrops and, and, and the port that's going to be built in the next few weeks uh, where the U.S. will facilitate aid into Gaza, how is any of this being ensured that it doesn't just keep being commandeered by Hamas terrorists, uh, taken over by Hamas, or you know, kind of administered by in, in the black market by criminals or thugs or gangs. How do we sure? Is there any assurances that this is actually helping the suffering people who need it? There is no assurances, Jeff, that all the aid is reaching the the civilians who are in dire need of this humanitarian aid. You can see from footage coming out of the Gaza Strip that at least some of it is making its way to the civilians, given the fact that you can see civilians walking around gleefully after they've managed to get their hands on a bag of flour and one of these uh, meals that have been uh, dropped in, 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 in these airdrops. But indeed, this is seen as, uh, you know, the least that can be done uh, given that the situation continues to exacerbate underground. And I will just add that the situation has become more challenging given the fact that the aid groups on the ground that are supposed to help, they're also finding it challenging. Some of these aid groups, for instance, UNRWA, aid that ha is in cahoots with Hamas, we can tell that from day one, the initial aid that has been dropped uh, or entered the Gaza Strip has made its way through the UN facilitators. But at the end of the day, as time progresses, as the operation continues, the situation gets more dire and new and new avenues of bringing in this much needed humanitarian aid are drawn up, including airdrops or this uh, floating port.